With dozens of people moving to the Triangle on average every single day, local leaders say transportation upgrades are needed uh, and they need to be a priority. And that can help with sustainability and providing relief when it comes to drive times. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue took our area's transit systems to see what could improve and what stands in the way. From trains like this one to Durham to buses in multiple major cities, leaders from across the Triangle are coming together to envision the future of connectivity for our area. Keep on loading up the highways, for one thing. With more than 600,000 new people estimated to move to the Triangle over the next 20 years, it means tighter traffic and a greater demand for other options. We're developing urban centers now. Raleigh's growing from a small city to a big city. So now we have those needs. The Wake County Commissioner Chair says a new rapid bus transit line will break ground early next year with the goal to grow around it. But in addition to just transportation, it's about land use. It's how we grow our community to create all of the things that we want closer together so we don't have to be in our cars as much. Raleigh's mayor says pushing for a regional rail system is her number one priority. The only way to address congestion, to make it easier for people to get to their jobs, is through commuter rail. So it has to be a number one priority. The Greater Triangle Commuter Rail would connect from Durham through the Research Triangle in Raleigh out to Johnston County. While the planning stages are already underway, figuring out how much it'll cost and where to get that money from remains the biggest barriers. Uh, the cost just went up substantially and we are all trying to figure out how do we how do we pay for it. Coley Dixon, who's been riding the bus in Durham for more than a decade, said a rail can't come soon enough. I really want to see that happen because, like, if that's supposed to be part of um, Go Triangle or whatnot, there could be more money in their pockets, and, I, and I'd be happy to tell them to show up, take my money. The plan is to work with an ad to existing rail lines. Service could start as early as 2030. Reporting in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News.